Let's have a look at some of the highlights from the Miku Takeichi Clarice Agbegninu semi-final. Agbegninu is the multi-time world champion, the current world champion. Takeichi is her longtime rival. You might know her under the name of Miku Tashiro. She almost gets the score there for the throw, but Tashiro does a great job of spinning over the top. She must have had that right hand posted on the floor, otherwise she would have got penalized for head diving there. And Takeichi's ended up on top. It was Agbegninu that initiated the attack. Osai Komi looks like it's on, but Agbegninu gets her back between her legs. But Tashiro finally gets things cleared. She hasn't put Agbegninu's back on the mat yet, and Agbegninu is able to roll out. So I've got to warn you, I'm going to give a spoiler for some of the other Japanese competitors in this division. Nabakura of Japan lost to Clarice in the quarterfinals. She did a little bit better than I expected. She threatened Clarice with a guard pass at one point, but Clarice's Tachiwaza was too much for Nami Nabakura. And I was expecting the winner of this one to face Horikawa in the final. Horikawa is out. Horikawa got defeated in the semi-final. And Nabikura didn't even make it through the rapid charge. She got hit with an Uranage by Sharir of Israel. Takaichi capitalizes on the weak drop throw attempt of Agbegninu. She has the underhook and gets the Udegarami. And after a few seconds of being held down, Agbegninu submits, I think, more due to exhaustion and accepting that things were over than the pressure of the Udegarami. We'll have a look at a different angle on the Udegarami in a moment. Subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. I think Tashiro is heading for the Olympics after this one.